Hello, how you guys doing today? It's your boy, brother Kwame, and I am back at it with another video. And today's video will be about Thanksgiving. That's right, I will be talking about Thanksgiving. And this is not from the Lord God. This is not from the Lord God at all. And in fact, the Most High God, he is against this stuff. And I will be showing you why the Most High God is against this stuff. Thanksgiving. Okay, first off, the Gentiles, the so-called Assyrians, back then on that day Thanksgiving, they basically massacred the Lord God's people, the tribe of Gad, who were one of the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay, the Gentiles, aka the Assyrians, aka the pilgrims, they massacred this particular tribe, the tribe of Gad, the so-called Indians. That's right, they killed those people. See, Thanksgiving Day was originated for fasting and for worshiping the Most High God for the tribe of Gad. Then the Assyrians, aka the European pilgrims, came and deceived the tribe of Gad like they wanted to come and make a treaty and have peace between the two. Then, after the tribe of Gad taught the pilgrims how to grow food and allowed the pilgrims to move in on their land and taught them everything they needed to know, the Assyrians, aka the pilgrims, massacred the Indians, the tribe of Gad. And this is actually a prophecy in the Bible that this was going to happen to the tribe of Gad or the Indians as you know them. See, people? The pilgrims, they killed thousands of God's people. And not only did they do that, but then they changed their day from fasting and worshiping the Most High God to eating a lot of unclean meats and worshiping a false God. And why are you worshiping a false God on this day, Thanksgiving Day? I'm going to show you with the word. Because the Most High God I serve he says that he doesn't have any part in that day. Now, go with me to the book of Amos chapter 5 verse 21. Go with me to the book of Amos chapter 5 verse 21. And the word of the Lord says, I hate, I despise your feast days and I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. Okay, the Most High God is saying here that he will not partake in, in any of your false worship, your tradition of man, your Thanksgiving holidays. Okay, so if the Most High God just said that he will not partake in Thanksgiving, so what God are you serving? What God are you serving? That means that you are serving a false God. That's right. You're serving a false God whenever you're celebrating Thanksgiving. See, people, you have to start learning before you start taking participation in things. Because the Gentiles, a.k.a. the Assyrians, a.k.a. the pilgrims, they basically conquered and took over the tribe of Gad. They came and smooth talked them on the land and see the thing about it, these Indians, the tribe of Gad, they taught them how to plant stuff. They taught them how to grow stuff and see they were supposed to have a treaty, a peace treaty. And the Most High God, he said this ahead of time before this even happened. And this is about the back of everything what I've been saying this whole time. Because this is a prophecy right here in the Bible. Now I want you guys to go with me to the book of Genesis chapter 49 verse 19. Go with me to the book of Genesis chapter 49 verse 19. And the word of the Lord says, Gad, a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last. Okay, the Lord God was saying in that verse right there. In Genesis chapter 49 verse 19. That the tribe of Gad was going to be overcome by somebody. By a troop. And the troops that overcame them, it was the Assyrians. The pilgrims. C 
see the Gentiles, they came over and they conquered the tribe of Gad. See the pilgrims, they conquered them. They was trying to act like they was at peace with them. Then after the tribe of Gad, the Indians had showed them how to plant stuff and harvest stuff. They were supposed to be having a peace treaty by coming together and celebrating the harvest. But the whole time, these so-called pilgrims had massacred and to kill them in their hearts. They wanted to take over and rule over. And I'm about to back this up with scripture as well too. The massacre of the Indians or the tribe of Gad. Now go on, go on to the book of Psalms chapter 55 verse 20 through 21. Go on to the book of Psalms chapter 55 verse 20 through 21. And the word of the Lord says, He hath put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him he hath broken his covenant verse 21 the words of his mouth were smoother than butter but war was in his heart his words were softer than oil yet were they drawn swords you see that the lord is letting you know that they came in peace pretending to be peaceful they came to pretend to be peaceful with the tribe of Gad because they really wanted to conquer them God said that the words of his mouth were smoother than butter God is letting you know that they were deceiving they were deceiving the Lord God's tribe the tribe of Gad they were basically acting as they were at peace they would use such good words as they wanted to be at peace, like everything was cool. When God was saying that the words were smoother than butter, he was saying that they were deceiving. They basically got close in and used their mouths as if they were cool people. But what does the scripture say here? But war was in his heart. You see that? The whole time, they wanted to kill these people. They didn't want to make peace. They wanted to make war. The whole time, they wanted to kill these people, these Indians or the tribe of Gad. But how do I know this? Because the Holy Scripture says right here, yet were they drawn swords. You see this? They drew their swords. They massacred the tribe of Gad. They burnt some of these people alive, killed these people with their swords. They was even running around chopping off babies' heads. That's right, they chopped these little children's heads off and kicked it up in the air like it was a football or something. That was demonic. And you people today, y'all take up after the ways of the Gentiles, those so-called pilgrims. See, people, this is what the Gentiles, this, this is what they had done. This is the true history of Thanksgiving. And the thing is, it's right here in your Bibles. Those people, those pilgrims, they sacrificed over thousands of people. Thousands of the tribe of Gad, those Indians, they sacrificed them to their gods. You know, the pagan gods that they used to worship. They told those people to come out for the peace treaty. But the whole time they wanted to massacre them people. They wanted to kill those people. Crucify them. And the tradition today with the turkey and the cranberry sauce. It's to signify the Indians turkey with all of the feathers. Because you know the tribe of Gad, the Indians, they wore feathers and stuff. And they used the turkey as the representation of the tribe of Gad. And the cranberry sauce is the representation of the blood. And the whole thing, Thanksgiving Day, is the representation of the tradition of the massacre of what they did to the whole tribe. Thanksgiving Day is not about no peace thing. That was, or Thanksgiving Day is a massacre day of the crucifixion of the Lord God's tribe called Gad. The children of Israel. 
this is why the Lord God said, do not learn the ways of the Gentiles. Because the Most High God know that the Gentiles, they sacrifice to devils. And I already showed y'all in the book of Amos chapter 5 verse 21 that the Most High God says he is against their feast days. If the Most High God, if he wanted you to celebrate Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter, don't you think it would have been in the Bible? Like the Passover, like the tabernacle meeting, like the unleavened bread, like the Shabbat? Just ask yourself that. The Most High God would have told y'all to celebrate Easter. He would have told you to celebrate Thanksgiving. He would have told y'all to celebrate Christmas. But that is not in the Bible. That is not biblical. The Most High God told us to celebrate his Passover, his Shabbats, his tabernacle meetings, his unleavened bread. And the Most High God has many other holy days as well. So y'all better wake up. Because thanks, because Thanksgiving and Christmas is tradition of man. The Most High God said he hates their feast days. And people, I want you all to know that this is not about no black or white race thing. The Gentiles, they did the things of the heathens. The tribe of Gad, they were doing the things of the Most High God, Yahweh. They were doing the Sabbath. They were doing the things of God. But the devil has it where black folk today, when they wake up a little bit and they learn a little knowledge here and there, they think it has something to do with a race color thing. No, it has something to do with Satan's people massacring God's people. That is what Thanksgiving was all about. Or that is what Thanksgiving is about. Because spiritually, a Gentile can be a any race. Because my black people today, the Judah tribe, the tribe of Judah, they walking around celebrating Thanksgiving. They are in a Gentile spirit. Why? Because they celebrate Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is not from God. The Lord God says that his people will do anything of him. The Most High God, he has his own days that people has turned away from today. And they tell you that you don't have to do that anymore or the Old Testament laws are done away with. Which is another false doctrine from Satan. And the sad thing is, most of you people, y'all talk about people whenever they don't partake in that stuff. Y'all literally talking about them. Whenever they're not involved in Christmas, whenever they're not involved in Easter, whenever they're not involved in Thanksgiving, even whenever they're not even involved in Halloween, y'all say something is wrong with them. Y'all say that things are wrong with people. And I'm talking about Christian Christian people say that things are wrong with people whenever they are really following the things of the most high God. Because God never told us to celebrate pagan holidays. I just revealed in this video that Thanksgiving is pagan tradition. This is not from the Most High God. And so you people that does this, that worship or celebrate Thanksgiving, what God are you serving? Because you are compromising. Got Thanksgiving and Christmas all up in your church. You ain't even read your Bible, pastor. Because it tells you in your Bible to not do this. But yet you got it in the church. What God are you serving? You serving the devil. Now go with me to the book of 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 4. Go with me to the book of 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 4. Because people look at you like something is wrong with you. They look at you like you crazy or something. Whenever you don't partake in these pagan traditions. Now go with me to the book. Of 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 4, the word of the Lord says, Wherein they think it strange that ye run not with them to the same access of riot speaking evil of you. You see that? They speak evil of you because you don't partake in their holidays. See, people, when you gave your life to the Most High God, you were supposed to give up a lot of things. 
And what are some of the things that we were supposed to be giving up? Pagan holidays. Man, it's your boy, Brother Kwame. I urge you guys to turn away from Thanksgiving. Turn away from Christmas, Easter, and all of those Christian holidays because it was made to generate the paper, not to give the maker his praise. Shalom.